All right, so I am back, and today we're going to take a look at the Fans Toys Grenader, or the not bombshell, and this is part of the uh, giveaway. Um, so at the end of the video, I'll pick a winner and give it away. Uh, so here's a quick look at the packaging. Uh, it's got some good artwork. Um, the Fans Toys, or the Bad Cube one, uh, like I said, I mean, it's got decent artwork, but it's not great. Um, so you got more artwork there, more artwork there, you know black box and then back here we got product images which is what I like and then of course he's got the bio which do we really need the bio you know we're collectors we collect these figures we know what we're getting um, we don't need to read a bio <laughs> on them and here is the figure um, and there's still the uh, QC pass sticker here um, I'm gonna leave that on until you guys um, you know, whoever wins it can take it off. Um, and yeah, here he is in his, uh, bot mode. Really nice looking. Um, again, it's bombshell. So he does come with a number of accessories. So first off, we've got, uh, these other bug legs, um, which are, you can switch them out. They're, they're not as articulated and they're kind of designed to emulate the G1 bug. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, and it looks like, oh, uh, oh, that's not, oh, okay. So it looks like you unscrew it from like here and you'd put like the bug leg in there like that and just screw it in. So it looks like a, a, a fairly simple, uh, I couldn't figure out how to get these bug legs back the way they were. Um, he does not clean up as well as the bad cube bug. I, I have to admit that he doesn't clean up as well. You know, Bad Cube uses this part of the bug for the gun, and the legs collapse up really well. He, him, not so much, but um, he still has that bombshell feel really, really well. Um, so, so he's got the legs. Um, I won't. I'll get these out of the little baggie here. He also comes with uh, three little energon cubes. Um, and they're not one piece molded. It looks like there's a little cap that they put in. Uh, I thought maybe they would open up, but uh, so you get three Energon cubes for them. So that's cool. Um, so if you get the whole set, you know, maybe you'll have a small pile of Energon cubes. You know, same with the bad cubes. So that's bad cube, that's the uh, bombshell. I think I like the coloring and the size on the bad cube a little bit better than the um, Fans Toys one. But uh, either way, either way, you can't really go wrong there. I'm kind of curious on if the make, um, MMC ones will come with it. And then he also comes with the clear chest. Um, so, so there's that. Uh, no paint on this one, just straight clear plastic. This one's got the silver paint on there. Um, and then you could just unscrew it from this little screw right there, it looks like, and just swap them out so if you want to do that and they also have the molded little um where the decepticon logo will go um so that's really nice too um so yeah there there's his accessories he's also got this nice chrome gun uh plugs in his hand just like the rest of the fans toys uh guns and your standard mp the hands are really tight um, just to let you know on my copy anyway um, they're really kind of, they kind of, kind of can be a bear to open, but, uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that. So, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, you can just take it and plug it into his hand just like that. He holds it just fine. And then you close the hands up or the fingers up and it really locks it in there secure. So that thing's, that thing's not the arm's moving more than the gun. So, yeah, that gun's in there. Um, and no articulation to the gun. It's just it's just the blaster. So, But it, it's really cool. I really dig it. All right. So let's talk about the um, paint on him and posability. Uh, the antenna goes up and down here. Uh, head is swivels... Uh, looks like maybe a ball joint in there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, his head 
sculpt is fantastic. Uh, I cannot, I would never ask for anything better out of a bombshell head sculpt than this right here. This is absolutely the best head sculpt I've ever seen for any Insecticon ever. Um, it's really nice. He's got the grill. Um, you know, he's got this silver plastic here, uh, gunmetal gray for the face um, and the grill. And inside the grill, the little slots are actually a darker gunmetal gray. So you definitely get the Vince look going. Uh, nice metallic red paint going on in there. Uh, shoulders rotate up and down, in and out. And then there's another pit pivot like uh, you can get that much out of the shoulder but then right below the shoulder there's another hinge so you can get it all the way up to there so that's that's good posability there. a little speck of purple paint in there not sure why but it does break it up a little bit um, but other than that the arms are pretty plain um, I like them though um, bicep swivel um, there is a hinge double hinged elbow wrist swivels and then, like I said, the fingers open and close. Um, you can close them all the way up if you want. And he does have that screechy plastic going on on this side, which isn't nice. I, I remember watching Skullface's review on that, and he had it on his too. So I think this is kind of this is to be expected on this figure is the screechy plastic for these shoulders or the bicep swivels. So expect that. The waist does articulate, but it is in there so tight that it's kind of scary. So I'm not going to do much with that because uh, it's not my figure. Uh, silver paint on the legs uh, looks really nice. Uh, the gray plastic there looks good. Um, legs go all the way out to there. Because of the amount of die cast in there, he's very well balanced. It's very well placed die cast. So that's something the bad key one couldn't do um legs go up and down um i like the fact that he's got like the molded in skirts that move with the hips um they're not separate pieces so that's nice so they don't pop off uh thigh swivel uh here hinges there uh he's got a nice bend at the knee the foot swivels out to there and then it does have a rocker all the way back. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, there you go. Um, he is just fantastic. Um, I just adore this figure. This, this, this is a short list of favorite figures uh, of the year. You know, him and Carrie are definitely on that list. And they're, they're, they're in the top two. Uh, I can easily say that. Um, I, I, I would, I would say he wins just because he's a Decepticon, um, and he's an Insecticon, uh, at that. So, and I love me some bugs, but this is fantastic. All right. So let's get into transformation. Um, so transformation is actually pretty simple. Um, it has a few twists and turns that kind of get irritating. So you want to fold these legs up to get those out of the way take this antenna back a little bit. And you want to try and pull it out enough because you want to pull these these two black pat, black pieces here um, hinge out. And it's kind of a bear to get them at, out. Um, so you just kind of... There we go. And, come on. Almost had it. What the hell? So open that up. Let's try and push those out. There we go. So you push those out and then you hinge them out to the sides. Get those out of the way. Then you want to take the antenna here and fold it down all the way. And then you rotate this whole assembly here like so. And just kind of, you, you'll have to position the head so it'll fit in. Like, if you got it wrong, you'll know right away. But then when you get it right, it just slides right up. Fold this piece up. It sits in place. Fold these pieces here up. And then there's a 
they're on hinges hinges and a swivel or hinge here hinge here hinge here to get you in and out um, but then there's these two tabs here and here that plug into those two slots there and there so slide those up tab it in you're good to go then you can uh, pull this out like so and there's the front of the bug all right and then we want to let's see here let's work on the legs here a bit so fold this piece here all the way up this piece here will come down up and down and then pull this assembly here out like so and rotate like this and then you can swivel this leg up like this just like so kind of fold the legs out the way you want to same thing over here so this swivels out to here rotate this come on Just like so. Now before you lock all this place, uh, slide these all the way up. I'll kind of gap fill it. Then you take the gun here and it will you take this down here and kind of plugs in. There's two tabs here and here. I'll plug into these two slots here and here. Um, I wouldn't call it the best storage, but it works. All right, and then you just squeeze all that together. When you get it, I mean, you don't even really have to worry about where the tabs, because there's some tabs here that'll plug into the chest, and the tabs back here that'll plug into each other. You don't have to worry about those tabs. You don't have to sit there and align them, because once you got those legs right, it's just gonna slide right into place, and it's just it's it's a work of art there. Um, let's get the legs out in place. All right, and now. What we want to do here is you want to rotate the arm at the yellow hinge or the yellow swivel. This whole yellow assembly swivels back. Um, these bug legs are tight and that worries me a little bit. Um, and I don't know if I can loosen those up. So just be mindful of those. So you rotate this back like so and this will swivel back like this okay and the same thing on this side so down and in and then the forearms there's two tabs on the forearms here there's a slot tab and then a tab slot i don't know how well you can see that second one just because the angle but those will tab into each other. Like so. Oh, kind of got them misaligned. And then they just kind of sit down like that. Just like so. Then you can fold the bug legs back in. And there's a tab here that I'll plug into that slot in the forearm there. You gotta make sure these arms are all the way up now. Like so. Alright. So you pull this in. And this will tab in. Like so. Same thing over here. Just tab it in. Just tab it in. Give it a little tabby. Tab, tab, tabaroo. Name that movie. And then you just kind of angle the bug legs the way you want them. Mm. 
one. And there you have him in bug mode. And he's really cool. I really, really dig it. Uh, I, I was just talking to somebody earlier that I, I thought that the bug modes on these two are equal, but I have to say this guy cleans up a lot better and just looks really good, except for the gun on the back. That is kind of cheap. I, I think they really could have engineered it like everybody else could of uh, having this be the gun here. So nitpick there. Um, other than that, it looks great. Um, you got a uh, hinge here and then another hinge here. So you get uh, good range of motion on the uh, antenna. The front part swivels around. So that looks good. Uh, then he's got a hinge or a swivel here where the leg connects to the body. Then there's a swivel here, hinge here, hinge here, and then a hinge here at the toe. Same on the other side. This one, swivel here, swivel here, hinge, and nothing else. This one's got a swivel here, hinge, swivel, and swivel. Um, so they all work. Uh, it's one of those, again, I, I would have preferred maybe some ball joints to get you a little bit more range of motion because it, it kind of feels like some of this is limited um, because of the way the hinges and swivel. And it sounds weird because they have so many hinges and swivels, but it's just like, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know how to explain it. There's just certain things I would have done a little bit differently with those legs but uh and bar from you know putting on the uh, g1 legs real quick I, I don't know how well those function um so yeah there you go um all in all i like the bug mode it looks great um i i'm i'm very happy with it myself uh and it, again it feels very solid uh so let's transform it back real quick um, so on tab, on tab, let's pull these bug legs. Now this part, oh, okay, that worked. Okay, there you go. Huh. The first time I did it, getting these in there and then getting them back out was just insane. And I really don't, didn't like it, but now it looks like they loosened up a little bit, so that's good. Um, pull the arms up and untab them from each other, and then they can fold out, and then you want to remember to swivel that yellow piece back up just like so then untab the legs from each other rotate fold down fold this up like so and then the lay the foot you can just hinge this forward and hinge this back and then you kind of just kind of find a way to rotate this leg up any way you want to really uh, and just kind of out, as much out of the way as you can um, you can do up maybe well you got pretty much either up or down uh, and that's pretty much how all the bugs legs kind of work unlike the bad cube there isn't a real set place to put them um, which is a little unfortunate, um, but I'm a Beast Wars fan, so I'm, I'm used to finagling bug legs. Um, they are tight, um, so when you get them someplace, they're going to just stay there. So that's nice. All right, so do the same thing on that leg. This rotates down, rotates down. Flip out the chest. Then you can pull out this assembly here. Like so, split, rotate around, and this part will have to hinge up, like so. And then once this is out of the way, you can then work these pieces here. Um, there's a slot cut out um, right here that goes around the antenna, um, so it gives you that clearance to move it around. And then and that'll all tab together. 
all locks in very securely there. Um, aside from the bug legs, his backpack cleans up real, real, real nice. Um, so that snaps into place. And then you just, you know, for me, like uh, being a Beast Wars fan, that doesn't look too bad for me. I like that. But you can take these and fold them up uh, whatever way you want. Uh, but there is a tab or a slot here and here that this little tab right here will play, plug into. Just line those up and tab them in. Um, not the most secure tab, but it is there. And then just kind of fold these bug legs up whichever way you can. <clears throat> Just trying to get it out of the way. Just like so. And there you go. And like I said, I mean, you, it's up to you kind of like how you want to angle these bug legs. Just getting them out of the way. Um, it is, if you're not a fan of bug insect leg kibble like me, this is going to bother you. So there's that. I'm going to say that and just be honest right there. Um, and then you take the gun, plug it back into his hand. And there you go. Um, great figure. Just great figure. Um, obviously, like I said, you know, you could, Chug doesn't work, so I'm not going to worry about Chug scale. Uh, but MP scale, here he is with the side swipe. Um, so a little bit shorter than an MP car, which might be a little bit too tall for some people. For me, I think a little, eh, but I'd say it's about right. And then he's about half the size of Soundwave. So that looks good. I like this. I like the scale a lot. And of course, like I said, here he is with the Bad Cube one. And at some point in the future, I, I, I am going to have all the sets and we're going to get the chart out and we're going to do a full comparison review once it just... You know, I don't want to do it with just these two because I'm planning on getting the collectors of him and the um, uh, the standard plus the I MMC. So once I have all four standing next to each other, then we can do um, the full comparison. I just don't want to do it yet. Same thing with, like, the Devastators. Like, I want to do all the Devastators, but I'm not going to do, like, all the Scrappers now and then have to redo it later on and do Scrappers again. Um, that's just not cool. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll wait on that part. But yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, again, you know, just looking at the two, you know, it, the difference here that I see instantly is toy collectors, chug MP. That's what I see. If this thing was scaled down to about here, I'd say he'd be perfect for chug. Um, but I don't really think you can go wrong with either one. There's just a few things that would be personal preferences um for a rating um i think the bug legs could have been dealt with a little bit better um like i said if i put the g1 legs on there they might clean up a little bit better but i don't know and i'm not gonna do it because it's not my figure once i get one i'll do an update video of of him with the g1 bugs bug legs um and just redo the whole review um aside from comparisons and all that um I think the gun could have been either utilized through that antenna that would clean up his backpack a little bit better. Um, you know, if the backpack, if that wasn't there uh, and it was all in his gun, you know, like him, because um, he doesn't have that hanging off his back. Um, so like him, I think uh, if that wasn't there, the legs could have cleaned up a lot better, folded in and just kind of worked out a little bit better. Um, so I think that's kind of unfortunate. I, I do think... Um, I do think they uh, missed the boat on that one. Um, but, uh, let's see, so there's that. You know, of course, he's got a few tolerance issues. Other than that, I think he's uh, pretty pretty top-notch. I, I really like him. Uh, like I said, he's probably one of my top picks for figure of the year. Uh, for rating, though, uh, you know, taking my personal preferences and such out of out. Uh, I'm going to give him 9 out of 10. The bug legs and the tolerances and the gun... Um, they're minor things, 
uh, unless you're really picky on certain things. Um, they're minor things, and that's enough to be like, eh, okay, take a point off. Uh, but the fact that he does come with the G1 leg, so you can kind of change that up a little bit. The fact that he comes with the Energon cubes, which, you know, that's cool. And he comes with the extra chest piece, so you can kind of switch out which chest you want. Um, that's something I really wish the bad cube ones cause, could do, could have done. But these are actually pinned in, so that's pretty much, it's a pretty much done deal there. It's just pinned. And I'm terrible at getting pins out. All right, so let's get the uh, giveaway taken care of. So here we got our little thing here. Uh, uh, Elude V uh, bought one ticket. Uh, Todd M bought one ticket. Uh, Kev K bought two tickets. John L bought two tickets. Uh, Norris H bought three tickets. Todd M bought one ticket. I think that was actually a carryover from the gold bug. Uh, ben G bought one, two, three, four tickets. Sammy T bought four tickets. Scott B bought one, and Sajia A bought two, so that's 21. So, mix this up a little bit. And the winner of, actually, it's the winner of your choice of either the Fans, Fans Toys Bad Cube or Fans Toys Bombshell or Bad Cube Bombshell. Um, just email me, let me know which one you want, I'll throw it in the box, send it to you. And the winner is Benji. Benji. So I'll let this video sit for a day or so. Um, shoot me an e email with all your um, mailing stuff. Um, so I can get this all, whichever one, packed up and sent out to you. And and then I'll just rebuy whichever one. <laughs> whichever one uh, I don't give away because this, this guy's great and I really like him with the other bugs. Um, they, they look great. Um, let me let me actually just go grab those guys real quick. Hold on. Never mind. I left them in bug mode. I forgot, but... But yeah, I got the other ones. These guys are infinitely better than him. So as a set, they look really good together. Um, I think. I, I haven't actually put all three of them together. I, I was messing with these guys in the car right home. I had 24 hours, so I had to play with something. But um, but yeah, um, just remember, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sitting here trying to... Uh, sell this guy to you so I can keep him but um, um, if you want a set that's out now this is the one to pick because <coughs> they're out and fans toys takes a while to, to put anything out so so yeah if, if that's what you're wanting that's the way to go uh, but if you're if you're patient like a lot of people then fans toys is the way to go so so yeah there you go uh, solid, uh, uh, solid. Uh, so yeah like I said uh, 9 out of 10, great figure, highly recommend him. Um, like, I cannot recommend this guy enough. I mean, I love him. I mean, I didn't give him a solid 10 like I did the Rodimus Prime figure. But I, I w would actually recommend this guy a little bit more than Rodimus. Just because of the accessories, the awesomeness, and the just weight. I mean, this guy, I wish I had a scale. But just... From holding them, this guy feels like he weighs more than MP Soundwave. Um, 
I, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say he's heavier than MP Soundwave. Uh, think about that. Uh, the, and this is a high-quality figure, but I, I would say they are in par, if not him, a little bit heavier. So, yeah, this thing just... Uh. All right, I'm done. I'm done gushing over this figure. Tomorrow we'll look at the uh, Voodoo, Toos, Voodoo Toys Ironhide. Um, and like I said, Ben G. Where did I put his little ticket? So Ben G, just let me know. Um, and as always, I'm going to send this with your figure. Because some people seem to really get a kick out of that. Um so so yeah admit one bombshell <laughs>